entire Russian armored group was defeated near Vudladar. In the Vudladar direction, the defense forces defeated a large armored group of Russian troops. The Russian military command sent more than three dozen armored vehicles to storm Vudladar. Enemy units had tanks, infantry fighting vehicles, armored personnel carriers, and engineering vehicles. Russian forces gathered in a column and advanced towards Vudladar. In the course of the advance, the Russians began to suffer significant losses. Ukrainian artillery worked on their route, and the territory was also mined. During the battle, the Russian military lost at least 31 armored vehicles and manpower. The released footage from the 72nd Separate Mechanized Brigade shows approximately 15 T-72B3 and T-80 BVM tanks, approximately 12 BMPs, two MTLB armored personnel carriers and engineering vehicles. The Ukrainian 72nd Brigade said that the 55th Separate Artillery Brigade and the 35th Separate Marine Brigade of the Armed Forces of Ukraine also took part in the battle. It's nice to have friends from the 55th Air Force Base and the 35th Separate Brigade of the Marine Corps who support our commitment to cleanliness. Special thanks to the senior leadership for its powerful disinfectants, the military said in a statement. The battles for Vodladar began in November 2022 then Russia also threw the 155th and 40th Marine Brigades into battle, reinforced by other units. After several attempts, they managed to capture the village of Pavlivka south of Vodladar. But it was not possible to take Udladar then, this settlement is located on a hill and it is not easy to approach it. Almost two months later, Russian attempts to take Udladar resumed. We will remind you that recently the Ukrainian military in Donbass defeated the Russian Marines and took prisoners from the 155th Separate Guards Marine Brigade. 